Of course, in the off lane, the Prada is their position four this time. Usually, Prada is five, I believe. Not, not sure. I don't recognize his his picture in, from pubs. Maybe he changed it. This guy smurf a lot. Three zero and sixteen. He hasn't died in the last two matches that he played. What? Are you kidding me? Schofield God. 3-0-16 and 16, like 6-0-11. I, I can't just look at that and not make a comment about it. That's that's nuts. That's Prepare two pub matches. Battle. You're not like feeding once? I don't know. Good lord. I do like the high fives coming out though. Don't leave Golem hanging. Nice. What are their what are their lanes? What was I? I was reading something on like Reddit or something like that where uh, what, was it like mid one or some one of the uh, one of the players was just like digging up something in like a professional match and they're like, yep, that's Dota in a nutshell, <laughs> professional match. And, uh, I tweeted that. Did you? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that's my tweet. Yeah. People I, like I people liked that. that one. I liked it. It was good. <laughs> yeah, I, I I saw it was like a match for like a hundred thousand dollars, and it, I think it was LGD. They were they were like di digging, it, 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 they're digging for battle points <laughs> in, in, a, in a, a match with a hundred thousand dollars. I love it. And it's like, yeah, that sounds like the community, the, the Dota community. Literally memes over hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, OG won TI. Those guys are the biggest memers. Uh, People literally meme they're them. Pretty big, they're pretty big memers. I don't know. I felt like um, the old Chaos Pain. That, that was a lot of memes. Like the, the chat wheel, Tabalito, doing all the... I think that was the the whole the whole like pain into chaos thing was during a period of time for me that I was focused like solely on NA Dota. Ah. Uh, so I, I actually did not follow that. Um, there was there were so many chat like I think um, what was it? Tavo was playing like Enigma and he got like a crazy. It wasn't a rampage, but it was damn near close. And the entire time he's just all chatting voice lines. Like that's what they became really known was for. It, it was it a even double before OG? Was I it a double re, like he refreshed yes. double black hole? Yes. I think I remember that he died, bought back, and then did that. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I remember, it was remember seeing a, a, a clip of that. Mm -hmm. I made a video on that actually. I, uh, the video was on like using buyback, like using your buyback as a way to bait fights is mm -hmm. the most important. It's so, it's so risky, mm -hmm. but it's such a high level play actually to be like I'm the most important hero. I'm gonna run in and die. It's like all right, dude, relax with that idea there, buddy. That's a that's a dangerous idea. And then he gets a, a double, like, four- or five-man black hole. I think it was a four-man black hole, and then, like, the puck blinked in and got, got the stuck. second one. Yeah. And then they, they killed all of them. Yeah. They killed all of them. It was, it and, was a good play. And not only was it a double black hole, he set up for the double black hole by killing himself. Yep. Like, what, what kind of game do we play yeah. that that's a, that, that's a legitimate <laughs> strategy? I remember that I was at home. And like yeah, just that yourself. happened, and then he went back in. I just like lost it, like screaming. I was like, people are gonna think I'm getting murdered because like I just was losing my mind. Tavo was committing murder. Yeah, he was. He was. It's nice to see him on. Uh, yeah, on complexity good. Good now. for him. Yeah, good that's for an him. organization that'll take care of him if he uh, if it ends up working out because I think it's technically he's on trial. I but I'd say it's it's doing pretty well for them. I had no idea that they were sponsored by an NFL oh, team. You didn't know that? No idea. What? Yeah, those are Cowboys, man. What is e has eSports come to? I don't know. Pain Gaming Brazil just got sponsored by uh, Coca-Cola Brazil. Oh, yeah, that's huge. That's super huge. <laughs> Good for us. We're see yeah. Good for us. <laughs> We're making it. We're doing it. I'm loving it, dude. I mean, it's not me. I'm not getting any of that money, but you know, no, good nice, for uh, good nice for these other people. These bigger, uh, yeah, it's great. Bigger sponsors, you know. It it is great. Duster's just uh, whacking back and forth up here with Schofield. So he's gonna go try to get himself that rune. There's gonna be the roll forward though. He'll be able to secure that rune. They might be able to find themselves a kill here. So he like tries to body block, but no one in here. Yeah, they'll be able to go use that Arctic burn. That is a long cooldown though. Now that they forced that out of the uh, Winter Wyvern. Follow up with the Magic Missile, the roll forward. It might actually now be Impulse who's going to fall here. One more hit should do the trick. And Sexy Fat going to be able to get the first You've blood. You've just achieved first blood. Thanks the amount of fun. times I've seen somebody feed because they didn't expect a tri lane to be in an area right at the start. That's, a, that's like once every pub. Like That literally happens in every single NA pub. So it does not surprise me that I see that happening here. Where it's like, oh my god, the Venge is here? Who would have thought? This is no, nobody actually. Like, nobody thinks that. Like, I die to that all the time. 
playing like a Crystal Maiden, I walk up and there's just like a, a support where they shouldn't be at the start. Oh, Jamari. They're tri-laning the Huskar. Yeah, this is an awful lane for arms, although looks like we'll be able to get the kill on Jamari. I guess this is the play. You this just... is, I guess. You want to make sure that arms gets farmed. You know, this this used to be a legit strat. Remember when people would run, like, Bane Marana at lanes? Like, they would dual roam with supports. We called it the LOL3 mid strat. Like, no matter what. One of my friends, no matter what happens, whenever he plays mid, there's always somehow three heroes in his lane. And he's like, why? I'm not even winning the lane. Go away. Actually, speaking of not even winning the lane, that's, that's the thing with this is, like, you kill the Huskar, but I don't think he really cares. Like, early deaths don't matter at all anymore. Uh, the, like, XP-wise. Oh, Prada takes this rotation. They get a kill on arms. And uh, Sexy Fat gets a kill on Impulse in the top lane, too. The Wyvern will fall. Four kills in, like, two minutes. This There's so many rotations happening. This is, um... Thunder Predator Dota, honestly. You, you These know guys, they make a lot of kills happen in the early... So, Thunder Predator are rotating because they don't feel like they need to be in the other lanes. So, like, Prada can just walk mid. Mm -hmm. And then SG are rotating because they don't want to be in the losing lanes anyway. So they're rotating mid. It's like they're both <laughs> rotating for completely different reasons. But it's just like, I want to be in a different place on the map. So I'm going to go there. Look, oh, I got a kill. Cool. And uh, as a result, I mean, it's like completely even. Well, not completely, but it's... It's, it's fairly it's, close. It's, it's yeah. relatively Less than even. 1K. Okay. Even though there's a lot of action, like there's action on both sides, so mm -hmm. nobody's nobody's completely favored in this. You have been denied. I mean, hats off to Arms because it is not a comfortable lane for him, but he's still CSing quite well. This Wyvern is not looking so great right now as they're going to go just right behind here. Tries to get off some of that Splinter Blast. Impulse, one more hit, should do the trick, and Duster will find it. They're just abusing the stand-in. You can't do that. That's psychological war. F that's illegal. <laughs> illegal. Yeah, that's the... Um what was that one? The rules of war? The I don't know. I don't know. Somebody wrote it. I don't know. I actually don't know anything about Impulse. Do you? Do you know that person? Yeah, already? I can't control mine at all, actually. Oh, great. I just yeah. drink like three Red Bulls a day. Oh, you mean the player? Yes. And the oh, player. Okay. Although, hold that thought for a second because they're going to try to make some moves over here on Prada, but uh, Frank will be able to go get off that uh, link over here and steal 70 damage from the Life Stealer. Duster. Oh, oh, Duster. He was trying to make things happen, but not going to be the case here as Frank gets that last hit. The wand charge bait works every time. Prada, save the wand charges. Baits him close to the attack. tower. So Razor just turns around with 70 damage, free hits. This is an offlane Razor too, so <laughs> him having a good start is, is crucial. Because like this hero has no comeback if you don't have the levels. Like if you don't have points in the current or the plasma field. Mm -hmm. He can be so useless as an offlaner. Although Golem's not farming too poorly down here, dis despite being as a razor. I feel like that's kind of the thing for SG right now, right? Because you've got Jay Marie uh, making a lot of problems for the Ember, but he's still not too, too bad with CS yeah, 16 and 1. Obviously, Huskar winning up that matchup. Yeah, the but 15 also denies, though, is the. The denies is, is that's, the big That's thing. where yes, it hurts. Although. True. They changed that, right? To be fair, yeah, denies have been buffed. Well. I mean, it depends on the way you look at it, I yeah. guess. Getting denied has been buffed, like, three patches in a row. They, they don't want denies to matter so much anymore for the, for the person that's getting denied. It's, it, you know, it still gives you the gold, which is, which is great, but, like, ARMS is not doing too poorly level-wise. He's only a whole level behind. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's a but Huskar. That's, that's for, really good if you're, yeah, exactly. If this, is like, if this is, like, three patches ago, Huskar's eight, you know, ARMS is level four. He's got the bottle coming out now, so that way he's going to have some form of regen. It's been a rough lane for him, for sure. And that rune control is going to be very important. Five minute runes are about to come up, though. Looks like uh, Noaj is already in position. We have to grab his own. I don't think they're going to go across the river, though, for the other one. In fact, it's going to be uh, to the impurities. three going over to the side of SG and one over to the side of Thunder Predator. No, so, well, wait, wait a minute. SG got three of them. Yeah, I said SG. All right, despite Thunder Predator looking real good in these lanes. Like Razor versus the Nakes. That's a winning matchup for a Razor. I, I guess that's just the nature when you don't maybe don't have heroes to push the waves. I don't know. It's, it's interesting to me that they got three. I guess when, you, when you're, like, losing the lane. Ooh, they're getting real aggressive on arms here. Should be able to get taken down. Oh, Sexy Beth, though, should be able to find this kill over onto Prada. One more hit. 
Takes him down. Good rotation coming out here. You can see the Ventral Spirit also wants to be a part of this as Duster. All right, there's going to push back over here onto Jay Murray, and they'll be able to find that magic Good missile. Time, Sexy Tag gets himself well, a double kill. Thanks for playing double Definitely two. worth double the, uh, the rotation there, for sure. And three range creeps mid for arms. This is this is going to be some nice experience without Hoskar being here to yeah. pester him. Because he's sitting, oh attack. man, he's not even six yet. Well, the moment he gets level six on arms, he's Radiant actually, he's fine with the game. Like, even though there's a Hoskar, he just wants to rotate anyway. Oh, this could be a uh, double kill, possibly? No, Duster, Duster, he's got the fairy fire. I thought Sexy Fat might be able to get a little bit more, but I think he does have a uh, wand on him. On that jug. He's I alive. thought he was going to No, go. he doesn't. All right, I'm lying. I thought Duster was going to go for that, but the <laughs> cooldowns on Earth Spirit spells in the early levels are actually it's pretty high. Like, 16 seconds, 18 seconds. Like, he kind of commits, and then he can't really keep going. Later on to, on into the game, like, who am I kidding? This hero has always got spells. So now they just put Ember Spirit in jungle. He's going to get six, probably rotate after that. I imagine you rotate to, like, the Razor's lane and just kill the Razor over and over again because he's an offlaner. He's not that tanky. And uh, you can't kill a Jug as an Ember. You'd need, like, three heroes to kill Jug. Uh, don't mind Frank down here. He's just walking his life stealer. Oh, he's just a little too fast for him. He's really gonna make it out here with a hundred hit points, and Frank's very happy to just go ahead and hit up this creep wave. You know what the nice thing about playing offlane razor versus an is? That? Is that you can just ruin your entire game by going static link, just to ruin the Nakes' game. And because you're an offlaner, it's like ah, that's worth it. You know, you're trading like your three position for a one position. And we lose Nuages in the top lane. Prada finding himself a kill, and Golem's coming right back in again, chasing down Frank. Frank will turn back around. Is. He's got the static link. The Duster should be able to go. He misses out the stun, though. They're going to turn right back around. Golem's got to use that rage with himself away. Nuages is following up, though, with that magic missile. There's not Still a lot on. of damage over here. They're going to try to turn back around. Golem's sitting so very, very low right now. Got to be Really careful, but in comes Arms. He's going to be able to clean up a nice kill as he chases after Prada. He finally has that level six magic missile coming through here, and they'll be able to get a kill on Duster, or rather for Duster as Prada will fall. Yeah, nice Crazy. rotation from the Ember Spirit. He needed that. He needed to uh, once again. Kind of that's bounce back a that's kind of like the, a big reason, in my opinion, that I think Ember Spirit is so strong as a hero is the fact that you can just get completely de decimated in the mid lane and if you're a good ember you can just come back with kills that's kind of how i felt with pudge as well where it's like this hero is, can just feed and be so useless but you hit like one hook you know and you're back you're back in the game like you win the game for your team i feel like ember is really similar which is, there's just such a high skill cap to it you can just run out of lane and use your chains on the right people use your spells on the right people two kills all of a sudden you're a hero again you gotta watch out though. We call it the uh, the NA special, where you have the uh, Ember Spirit who uses up all of his remnant charges all at once, trying to get a kill, and then he can't escape. So, definitely don't want to see that happening. <laughs> yeah, I think high skill cap, but also skill floor, low skill floor. <laughs> yeah, I guess like, so. You can really, you can really butcher this hero. Ah, uh, Frank, he is gonna get ganked by four different heroes here in the bottom lane. Sexy Fat is doing work on this puck right now. See, here, here's the problem. It's like in between the cores. You, the only hero that's killable Radiant's is the Razor. You, you're not going to kill a Jug, and you're not going to kill a Huskar. Unless you have every single hero. True. You have to make an actual rotation to the Huskar. So the only person that's going to get casually rotated on is the Razor. Like, he's just destined to have an awful game this game. And because he has max static link, he can't do anything but lane. Like, he can't go jungle. Duster not going to be able to quite land this. He'll turn back around. They've got the Silence. They're just going to have to duck Sexy Fat out. Arms was hoping maybe he could burn down Jamery. Not going to be able to do it fast enough, though. Yeah, that's why you can't rotate. Like, you, you can't rotate on a Husker. You need it. You need it. Oh, oh, well, oh, never mind. No, no, no. no run, Nuages. Oh, the stun comes out. There's double a kill. lot of burning here. That's a double yeah, kill. That's... I'm glad Jamari is, is high skill, because I was just saying how you can't do that, and if he just dies behind the tower to, like, a solo avenge, I'd be very upset. <laughs> we do have uh, tomes coming out now. We do have two tomes that are deployed, I believe, at the... Is it the 5 or 10 minute mark, or is it... Uh, both. Both, okay. Every time it's two what tomes. What is that courier? Well, no, 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 the other the one, the other one. Of illusion. Uh, I'm seeing... Oh, it's like the crab and the greevil. I'm seeing a crab. And oh, the greevil's riding a crab. The smeevil, yeah. I was like, that thing is like That's scampering. hostile. That's hostility right there. A, yeah, he's enslaved them. You guys have a crab. We have a greevil riding a crab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is some uh, some dominance right there. Yeah. Viva Peru. <laughs> 
Duster's just chilling top. My question is, how do you deal with this puck right now, though, too? Because you don't have great lockdown. Ah, it's a puck. Whatever. But, like, this is the hero that's going to be Radiant making that space. Golem actually makes a rotation fine. to this top lane. Sexy Fat's going to try to draw Schofield's attention over here. Is under attack. Do you see a rotation? In comes Jay Murray. Radiant they have the uh, Dream Coil if they need to use it. Echo throw out that illusory orb, get a little vision. I just, I just want to say this from, like, pub experience and also just what I saw Schofield do there, which is just run at the puck and hit puck for no re- Like, this guy actually has zero, zero fear. I don't think this guy actually registers fear as an emotion. Puck or Schofield. Schofield, yeah. Like I'm pretty, I'm I'm 99% sure this guy just said like. It's all those days of playing position four. Look at he. Look at him. He's not even worried. Like he's a, he's actually not. I that's know. that's a cra the crazy that you hear this guy in a pub and he's just screaming and laughing over the mic, <laughs> like maniacally. That's great. Those are the type of players that I like to uh, support. The ones that have fun. He does high skill stuff. He's like going, he, he, he goes absolutely crazy, but you know, he owns people, so. All right, we do have a life stealer in Fest over here on Sexy Fat. They're hoping maybe they can get a uh, kill over onto Frank here. The roll coming forward from Duster. He's so fast though. They just can't grab him fast enough. Although they do have another illusory orb coming up. There's gonna be the kick forward here. He's still so fast though. Frank, they find him over onto the corner. Use the Dream Coil, out pump Golem. And again, this is probably the only person that they might be able to kill, but there's gonna be Damer jumping over here onto Sexy Fat. Should be able to get the kill onto the puck. He's already sitting very, very low. Winter's Curse coming out at the last second here. Gonna be able to hold that Ember into place. And they'll turn back around again. Jay Murray, he's just slicing away over it. They do finally kill him here. Arms is taking a lot. He's got four burning spears stacked on him. He's totally toast. Toast? No? No, 20-something hit points. Oh, my word. He's uncooked toast, Radiant which is just bread. He's bread. <laughs> <laughs> How can you cook Ember Spear? Tell me that. Yeah, that was nice. He just mechanically played that fight really well. That was caught so the, close. Caught the Huskar with his pants down. And, you know, that's just an embarrassing thing you can't recover from if you're Huskar. Uh, yeah, he strikes me as the kind of person that uh, is a very private person. He doesn't seem like the type of guy that would be able to recover from getting caught with the pants down. Let's I'm be real. Yeah, I feel like uh, that's, no, a, that's a pride thing. He no, doesn't wear much for clothing anyways. Yeah, he's no Zyori, you know. Top tower is under <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, come on. He'd like that joke. He probably would. He, he, he Zyori's gonna, uh, yeah, Zyori can laugh He makes that joke all the time. Yeah, but that's him making the joke, yo. Oh, come on. Come on. We're Moonduck. We are Moonduck. Well, I'm still Moonduck. I don't know about well, you yeah, after well, that comment. I was Moonduck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, now I'm not. But, you know. We've almost got that Battle Fury online for Schofield now. I'm surprised this tower's still standing, but they've done a great job in trying to, like, uh, keep it up. Although they need to be careful. Duster's nearby as a sexy fat. Impulse is moving back. This should be a tower take Look at down. this man. He's just aggressively spinning on a puck behind the tower. Like, if I see a puck running at me like that, I'm like, oh, God, there's, a ten, there's ten people behind the puck. It's like, Jenkins, there's only four people. There's ten people behind this puck. Look at how he's playing. Oh. He doesn't care. Schofield doesn't well, care. Well, that's why Schofield is uh, playing in this tournament and you're not. Because he's... Because there's no Canadian team in the tournament, you mean? <laughs> I'm not American. You, you are American. You're just not a United States of American American. Don't, don't tell me that. You're a Canadian. All right, Sexy Fat, he's looking. They really want to just keep going after Frank here. They know that that's the best hero that they can kind of farm up. They'll go and use those open wounds, and they'll take down the Razor. Frank is actually the only hero that can die in this game. Yeah. Easily, I should say. I yeah, think it's later. We'll start to see. Yeah, of course. More, yeah, definitely. More opportunities out, but right now, no. It's definitely, definitely Dodge the Huskar. That is the name of the game. Dodge the Huskar. Try to protect your towers the best that you can. Bottom lane, though. Oh, that's a nice Winter's Curse coming out here. Duster will get taken down. Jay Marie, he's sitting very, very alone. They'll be able to take him out as well. Arms has a double damage. He's looking at Prada over here, and they're all kind of slowly cooking to this edict as they're going to try to remnant forward. They'll be able to go get some more damage over here onto Prada. There's going to be the Splinter Blast coming out. Nice ball coming out from Nuages as well. Prada's still alive, though. Oh, the last second, that's light. Frank making his rotation, too. is going to be just throwing out that static link, holding onto Golem, stealing up 130, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and we're up to 200 damage, but he's got to catch him now. That's the big thing, and there's going to be the Vengeful Spirit Plasma is going to get used. Doesn't have the, uh, nope. 
will get taken out. I thought he might have that magic missile to be able to, to slow him down, but you know what? You're okay with that. You get your Ember out, and you, or rather, you get your Life Stealer out, and you only lose your position five. I'm gonna be totally frank with you here. If I was that vengeful spirit, I, I'm complaining that why did that Razor have vision of me still? Like the lingering vision on the plasma field is is actually a lot. It, it was enough to give him like three hits while Venge was fogged. They have in the a. Trees. Oh, that's true. I was about to say they do have a ward down. But it was um. I don't think it caught. I don't think it caught the Venge. The Venge was like behind the. Oh, okay. The trees to the north. That's true. I think it was honestly just a lingering vision from. That's the thing with the razors that. You have the plasma field slow, the lingering vision. You have the static link vision. This hero actually has a lot of ways of chasing people, and mm -hmm. not just in you know being fast and slowing people down. It's like the the vision game for chasing people, like not being able to get juked, is really important. That's why like, well, Batrider is very hard to escape too. Yeah. The hero's got like one disabled, but he's still really hard to to run away from because he just sees you and just keep he just chase you infinitely. That's why level one Batriders are. Well, actually, that's not why level one Batriders are so potent. It's, they go napalm, but still. These vision heroes, very, good, very good at chasing. I know what you meant. You can't juke through trees, you know. They need to give make Pudge Rot give vision. That's what they need to no. do. No. Yes. No. Yes. Absolutely not. You madman. Zai, Zai needs to not pick Pudge anymore, man. They're gonna nerf that Dyer's hero. What are you doing, tower. secret? Come on. <laughs> you see some pushing up here in Dyer's this top lane. Are fortified. Try to uh, farm up. Just trying to find any safe spot for Golem right now. Again, the name of the game seems to be just trying to dodge any fights until uh, Life Stealer gets what he needs online. And he's getting closer to that relic. I think this TV is a pretty, from the pretty cool play from Duster to be up here defending the Nakes. Like, you'd expect the Nakes to be playing on his own because, you know, he doesn't want to yeah. fight until he gets the Radiance. So, this is just kind of. Oh, he's actually going to make a play? Like, yeah. We've got Noajes over here. Yeah, this is cool because you you feel safe up here because you saw the Nakes here. So they're like using that as a as like a bait. This is gonna TP Never mind. Out. He's gonna TP He's out. Going mid. They're gonna raise her. <laughs> it's gonna be Frank again. Oh Frank. Sorry, Frank. You're the killable yeah, hero, man. Yeah, there's the swap. He knows. He knows it's coming. And it's just a sidestep that boulder, but uh, still we'll be able to get silenced up. They go and use the magnetize arm. Hoping that he can get, he might be able to actually get Prada here on top of that as well. Nice Winter's Curse, so they'll turn it right back around over onto Life Stealer, holding him into place. Skullfield winning really patiently over here onto the side. Gets that Omni Slash off. We'll get a couple really, really nice bounces. We'll lose Duster. We're going to lose Prada. And it looks like Nuages is next on the list, although Sexy Pet, he's going to get swapped out by Nuages. He does have, of course, that illusory orb to get himself away, so. I think if, if they TP the Winter Wyvern first there, they probably don't lose anybody in that fight. Mm -hmm. Because the Wyvern the Wyvern curse, that was beautiful, right? Yeah. But I think he was like the third hero to arrive to that tower because they all kind of freaked out and TP'd. And um, that, that that was a pretty good bait. Like your razor, he's relatively tanky. I believe he has a hood. He's got a hood, he's got drums, he's got treads. So this guy's he's pretty tanky. He went the two twenty five health talent. He's doing a typical offline thing, run in, be a madman, enemy team goes on you. Um, oh oh Ooh, that was pretty scary right there. I was trying to make a play. Is that Huskar. Slice coming out from arms. Does get slowed down just a little bit. Nuages is probably going to fall. But Golem, he's thinking about going in. He is going to have to run himself out, though. Thank He's got the Eye of the Storm pop. He's got him on that leash. He's going to be able to go jump into arms. I don't think you want to go back in here. Yeah, that's Roche damage right there that he just stole. Punter 26 that static is? link. Easy. Never mind. He's not even going to hit Roche. Oh, yeah, yes, there he is. There, there he goes. He did. He hit one. <laughs> that counts, right? I guess Arms, Oh, Arms has to run away. Throws out those steering chains. Scope though, just going to spin the win. Chasing after him. And J. Murray will finish up the Roche. Get himself that Aegis of the Immortal. Good patience from Arms, not using the, the Remnant. I, I, I like to see Amber Spirits do that, where they, like, completely, you know, hard bait with a, with a Remnant up. A lot of people will just, like, freak out and press the Remnant and run away. But good Ember Spirits will, like, bait a shitload of spells out. <laughs> Prada versus Duster. Is a great conductor. They, just, they just waved at each other. I, I wish they had gone for the high five on each other right there, right? Yeah, yeah. that is that is a perfect moment. Yeah. We are going to see an Ag Scepter getting picked up for the Ember Spirit, though. That is a... Uh, Love that item on Ember. I think it's... Up. Love to get Gunner's opinion on that. Yeah, that, he is the uh, the Ember Spirit player. It's It seemed pretty good when I've seen it in pubs. Like, it makes the hero global, basically, which I get. He's already global, but 
It just makes it's like a nature's better. profit yeah. without a TP cooldown. Mm -hmm. It's it's a, you're you've that level of uh, global movement. It's it's a, it's actually ridiculous. Interesting. We've seen a couple of TAs, but we haven't actually seen the TA AGs get picked up today. Yeah, I, I think it's. It's, it's obviously very very niche, right? Yeah, it's like a late game. You could get it from Roche, sort of thing. I don't think you'd ever buy an AGs on TA. It's not a stat hero. Doesn't care for getting stats. Actually, like there are very few heroes in Dota that are less uh, that want stats less than a TA because she just has refraction. That's how she's tanky, right? Yeah. It's like she just wants stat. She just wants like immunity. That's it and damage. Death Prophet, you know, she wants the stats because you actually she actually gets hit by by damage, you know. Right. Uh. Top tower is under I'm sorry, I just had this like a, that that epiphany in my head about TA as like a non mid player. It's like, oh, that, that makes sense. Bottom lane, Frank again is gonna be the one who gets jumped on. This time, the Arjus will be the one to collect the kill. Top tower has fallen. I feel how many of these uh. How many of these kills have just been Frank over on the side of SD? I mean, once five, again, five it's, it's just one of these games where, like, your read on it as a player is just, like, the only person that can die to these cores and making rotations is, oh, is Frank. Arms, look at the scope field. He's waiting over by here. He gets the Omni Slash off. He was waiting for Arms. Yeah, that was nice. Scofield's looking real good here. You know, we talked about him. What, what was he, his score for the last couple matches where he just hasn't died at all? Zero deaths. Yeah, he's, he's still on track for that. He has zero deaths so far. Which is insane with how with how mad of a player he is. Yeah, and they he's just actually right up over onto the side ground. Oh, push out the fourth. The Radiance is done for the lifestealer, though. You that know what it's like? Be... It's like the like a honey badger. He's like a honey badger. <laughs> where everything is so terrified of him because of the way that he acts that nobody kills him. Jay Murray's gonna have to fight his way through here. Nice Winter's Curse gonna be able to hold that life stealer in place as everybody's whacking away at him. Golem, he's not looking so healthy right now. He will get taken down. That's another kill, another notch on the belt here for Schofield. As they're just gonna keep on going over here at the uh at the Zerx. Did I, did I see that correctly? Did the Nakes turn off the Radiance? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they turned it off. I don't think you can change your inventory during a curse anymore. I'm not sure if you can toggle. Maybe he was because you know what people people used to yeah, take their drop, items they out. They used to put them in their backpack, right? Which is, which should not. Be and that, that just doesn't honestly. seem. That doesn't. That seems like a bug. That seems. Uh, like it's a, a feature. Bug. It was for a while. <laughs> this is exactly what you'd expect from a Huskar lineup, though. Like you lose one fight, and because he's Huskar, he just takes your high ground. Yeah, the aggression is real here. Coming out from the side of Thunder. Have you seen this hero late game though? It, it's actually really good late game too, with the pure damage from Spears, the Huskar. Uh, it's, I haven't seen, I think, when's the last time I saw a Huskar? And that was before they, uh... It's actually a good late game hero, surprisingly. It's just They're killable. Oh, you know? hunting arms. Trying to bait him in with Parada. He's gonna try to go remnant through. We'll just run away, though. And he's, uh... Not that done here. That's space. That's space right there. What you want to do with uh oh he's got the eggs so he does have this, the eggs this guy's just i thought he finished that though like earlier did he i thought so he's 300 gold so maybe i guess he must have just finished oh frank. frank oh frank but he has a haster at least he stole that rune away from oh the bm but he like paused his hero for a second he's like are you serious and then he uses the remnant that's hilarious <laughs> he's just he wanted that haste so bad of course does the uh I'm pretty sure that, so 2.5x Ember Speed. Does the Aghanim Scepter make it faster percentage-wise? I don't know. Increases the cast range, initial remnant speed. It doesn't say by how much. It just does get reclaimed though during all of this, so. They don't have to worry about that coming off the Huskar. Like I'm pretty sure if, he, if you get the haste and you have the Aghanim Scepter on Ember Spirit, you can activate the haste and then you send, in a, you send one of the remnants. It's like, it, it instantly is there. I kind of want to see that now. I'm actually disappointed. I wanted to, that's why Arms yeah. was probably disappointed. He's like, I wanted to see how fast that was. I mean, you can test it in the lobby too. Like, yeah, that, that, would doing, that would be fun though to watch it in like yeah, yeah. match. I want to see somebody like feed with a haste rune, you know, some, something like that. Or All like right. own people with a, I don't know, what, you know, anything that's entertaining. Let's go 
Ophiel's just been like silently farming this entire time. I think he's actually the most farm. I don't know, it's They're gonna try to maybe save Jay Marine. They're gonna do the kickback right over to Golem. Golem trying to get a little bit deeper into the trees though. He's just gonna TP himself out. Impulse not gonna be able to find him. Oh, they did have the curse. They, they did have the curse, but they have to get the flying vision. They have to know exactly where to go. In fact, they just he's too late. Too late, my friend. The flying vision on Wyvern actually kind of sucks for scouting over trees, because... Mm -hmm. well, it, it's good when you get the night vision. I you actually don't have flying vision, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm, pretty sure you, I'm pretty sure you don't get flying vision. I thought you did. I don't think so. I think you just fly over trees and you don't have flying vision. Mm, the, the trees, trees block Added you. Added night vision range. Like, I'm pretty sure you still you still see the fog circle, like the oh, angles. Okay. I'm, I think when the hero was first added to Dota, you did have flying vision, but okay. they removed that. They changed that? Yeah. They removed a lot of vision from things. Wyvern was broken when she yeah. first came out. Like, you could still use all of your spells on top of her Winter's Curse. So was Troll, and then they removed the vision from the Troll Axes. Mm -hmm. And so was Mars. And he's still broken. And they removed, they've lowered the vision on the spear. Yeah. So, like, it seems like that's a common thing here, where they just put the vision to a, to a huge number, so people play it. And they're like, all right, this isn't necessary. This is too good. This is too good. Yeah. yeah you're enjoying it too much. Yeah. Because I remember when Oracle's Nobody enjoys like, playing ultimate Mars. Would, had like an 11 second cooldown or something like really stupid. At, at max level. It was like 20, it was like, 20 second cooldown. Yeah, and it was like invis on top of that. Like naturally. Oh, yeah. It gave invis. Yes. Oh, that was yes. great. Those are the days. Yeah, that was that was good stuff. I miss those days. I'm sure no one else does. And by much. good stuff, I mean actually awful. Because I was off laning <laughs> versus that guy every game. They're gonna hope oh, nope. We'll be able to go dodge it. Sexy Pat just running himself right back into that base. Does have a regen rune on him too. Gonna be going for the Ag Scepter. Jamari's getting his sheep stick on Huskar. Lockdown. He's just taking they need lockdown. He's yeah. taking the game into his own hands. Yeah. Alright. What was they they were doing that on like TA for a while, right? I Oh. I right. actually just watched. G Gollum and Sexy Fat set up on Huskar, and then Huskar just solo kills the Nate. He, li he just didn't have rage. He just ran at the Huskar without rage. Yikes, I don't, I don't died from full HP. Searing Chain's holding a Razor into place again for Frank. Frank is just like the uh, the whipping boy here on the side of Thunder Predator, it seems. I can't believe what I just watched. I can't believe what we're seeing. What I, I was just looking and oh, he just he just is going to rage, right? He just didn't have rage. Now, they don't have actual creeps right now. So oh, they're going sexy to back forward. He's going to jump forward again. Nice swap coming out, but he's still going to get taken down. Arms are going to be taken out. Nwaje is next. I'm going to try to get this tower. Of course, they don't have those creeps in the base, though, again. So they have to fight through the back door. They did get a buyback, though, coming out from Ember. I was in a pub the other day. With Husky, actually. Top and under we got double raxed when backdoor protection was on by like a Sven TA. Oh, I yeah. cut the creep wave, and it's like, all right, they can't rax us. They literally just took fallen. two minutes raxing us through. Oh my gosh. It was the most depressing thing. You'd be surprised. The backdoor is actually not that strong. It's. It, it, it depends tricks on you, when man. in the game, too, right? It and does. Like it does. Bit, and what heroes, and... what heroes you have, yeah. too. But, you know, it's it's deceiving. And did you know if you hit a tower and it heals back to full HP, it'll actually heal to 1 HP less than what it was at before. Really? So technically speaking, if you hit a tower through backdoor, you are still chipping away at it. Just oh, by hold that thought. Looks like Prada is going to get help to play Silence. They'll go and follow up with that Dream Coil, and Sexy Fat has to run himself away from Schofield. And uh, there's going to be the Magnetize coming out from Duster, but Duster's just going to get jumped out by Jay Marie. They'll be able to go and get that kill. And now Arms has to run himself out with that Remnant, or else he's going to be the next one on that list. Watch this. Yeah, he's out. Dyer's structures are this Lifestealer Radiance has not been... This is a 16k net worth lead right now. Yikes. It's just a dead Earth Spirit, but... This doesn't even matter. I, mean, I don't think they can fight regardless. I, yeah, I don't think they have enough damage. I think sometimes you just get Huskard. Yep. And you get Schofield, because Schofield, you know, he farmed Radiant's great. Like, all of his movements have been really good. He's, he's the insurance policy. Spot on. That's... Radiant's all right, just like that, they take the middle racks. They're just going to go right back down here over to the bottom. The silence comes out over to Jay Marie. We'll get held into place. Throw out those stones, silence them up. Schofield, standing nearby, will be able to be his bodyguard, be his Kevin Costner to his Whitney Houston here. <laughs> 
and there's going to be the Omni Slash. It should be able to take down the edges. In fact, the Puck actually is going to be the one who helps seal the deal. And Jay Murray just jumps for the Hex being used. Going to be able to take down Sexy Bat. The rest of the side of SG forced back into the fountain. This is going to be Megas. I don't know what they can hope to do. They will try to go forward, though, with that Remnant Arms. They get the silence up. They've got the mech. And again, Jay Murray, he's just going to town on everybody here. Arms can't get away fast enough. He will get taken down. There is no buyback on him. The GG gets called Thunder Predator. They take this game. They're unstoppable. That was unreal. If you were a millennial, I'd say... You know what? I feel like if you're Frank right now, you're like, it's totally worth it. <laughs>